Hey, this is Time Bomb, and if it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button for all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me today. I'm doing a defensive tutorial on a new defense that I've been using that is a lot of fun. I really like this defense too. It's very successful for me. Uh, I'm using it a fair bit. Uh, somewhere you can get into using, is if it's being successful for you and they aren't taking advantage of you, then you can be calling this a fair bit in your, your game plan. I would say somewhere from 25% to 40% of the time, majority of your, your, your third and long, second and long passing situations, you can definitely rely on this defense to get some stops for you. So this is in the Vikings playbook, the dime normal. Any dime normal formation in any playbook should have this play. It's the three double sky, and this play has been so effective for me. So it has a really easy setup too. I'm just gonna use a random on defense, but what I do is I'm gonna take control of my uh, CB over here, who's gonna be in the slot. I'm gonna put these guys into, uh, uh, sorry, into cloud flats there. So I just went, oh, I pressed uh, Y, and then uh, down on the right stick, and then up on the right stick, and then I double tapped A on this this guy that I'm controlling and put him into a hook zone. And then I'm gonna change the line, the A lineman here who's in a, a little uh, hook curl. I'm gonna change him into a, a spy. So this is kind of the look you have going. I'm gonna drop into the middle here and kind of defend, kind of take a look at that guy in the slot where he's going to decide how to cover it. And yeah, this is basically the play. It's all you have, a lot of pressure and him in the middle coming over. And the line's able to get there and shut that play down in the backfield, luckily. So good good run support. Again, this isn't a play that I think is crazy good at run support, but it's okay. Sometimes I'll leave him, too, in that little uh, zone just to add a, add a little bit of coverage in the middle of the field. It just kind of messes up the reads for my opponent. See here he's trying to run outside, and I just... Wow, what a great defense right there. I just couldn't get to... Couldn't get the right to... Or it's stick on my, it was a bad job by me. Oh, we got no adjustments on this play and he's getting so much room to run now. Wow, damn, Tyrod Taylor. Always tough, always tough when I bring out a practice mode against him. So again, get good setup this time. Get in spot. All right, now let's see what we can do here. And I've been finding it's decent against a run and get some sacks with it. Uh, you get great pass coverage with it. I've been getting a ton of picks. Oh, he's got to run again. He keeps using his Tyrod Taylor to just run on me, though, when he sees that, this is the computer, by the way, when the computer sees that he's got nothing, he's just running outside on me. So, I mean, that spy, I should be able to call him in, though, to pick that up. I don't know why. Maybe I'm a little late calling it there, but he, he should be getting him. Because I do this all the time when I'm playing people with those Vicks, and I have no problem stopping them. Oh, see, where, what's happening? The spy is getting thrown. He can't get to him in time. Wow, Tyrod breaks a tackle. But you can see, essentially, the only thing that the computer is able to get on me here is just these QB sneaks because everything is locked down. So let's take a look at some of my gameplay footage. Uh, this is in you know the seasons and uh, and uh, much uh, much uh, weekend league. So you know some quality opponents as well that I'm using it against. So let's take a look at this first play. I'm on defense and this is a run and you can see I get some decent sheds and he's gonna stop him in the backfield. Again, another run play, get the good sheds, stopping them in the backfield. And it's looking like up the middle is open. And you know, a big problem with the dime is if you are gonna get pancaked. I have not seen any pancakes when I've been calling this this defense. So that's, that's the one thing that I can say that you might be questioning that I have not had that problem with it. So like I said though, I'm really loving it for the pass protection. They do such a great job of knocking balls out of the air. Like it, it doesn't seem like it's that much coverage, but it's it's the perfect coverage that you need. Something about this play, the way that they are, and the way that the pressure gets in there, it does a great job stopping them. So I, I've been liking it. If they are passing or running against this play, it does well. You know, if the quarterback tries to roll out, this is what I'm seeing. They, there seems to be some room like we saw against the computer, but you lay those hit sticks, you're gonna get fumbles and pick them up just like that. Uh, when the opponent was, you know, seeing the deep blue was that middle linebacker, because that is the one thing, it's the middle linebacker in a deep blue automatically. So once, if they do see that, they can sometimes get over top on him. But a lot of times you're just getting great pressure in there. Within four seconds, he's 
at the quarterback, and I'm getting that sack. Again, you get the right shed at the right time. He can't get outside and get that scramble like he wants to. He's just, they're just going to get in there and get the sacks just like that. Just such a basic setup, too. It's nice to not have to worry too much about rushing uh, to get it in. I can see in this play, I left them in uh, their zones here, I, and rather than switching him into a spy. You see, you get great coverage. He backs up. Boom, AI jumps in there for the pick. I get a lot of AI picks using this defense as well. I think it's that combination of the the safeties in those zones just sitting there, just sitting back on the play waiting. If someone does try to do a quick read and they quick read wrong, this ball is getting picked off all the time. Look at this play action. He's got tons of time to look it over, rolling out, tries to put it up way too deep. To triple, look, there's like three men in that area and I get the big pick. And I do find that it's more the AI is actually getting the picks, but on occasion, um, if they do throw at me, I will be able to just grab some of those lurks and just and get in there. And if I have some nice stick like this, I'm able to, boom, run it back, get a touchdown, and make my opponent quit in a game like that. So this is a, definitely a play to try out if you have a dime in your playbook and you aren't using it. Try out this three double sky, because it's a nifty little play that, like I said, I'm getting a tons of picks. A lot of stops. It's great for those pass situations and does pretty decently against the run. I'm giving you a no pancake guarantee. You tell me in the comments below if you get pancake with this play. And I, I don't know what I'll do. I'll be like, sorry, I, I don't get pancake with this play. <laughs> but thank you a lot for checking out the video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I've been Time Bomb. You guys have been awesome. I'll catch you later. You, baby. Yeah. I'm mad.